how I win in Forex. Basically, I do this by focusing on what we know as the Forex sentiment. So I use my FX book. Essentially, the Forex sentiment shows you the number of uh, positions on a certain currency pair, uh, short as well as long positions. And as you know, majority of traders lose money, right? So if I'm looking to go short on Euro USD, <clears throat> sorry, then I'm looking at uh, I want to see more long positions lined up for Euro USD. Then I know that the majority is buying and there's a higher chance that we're going to go lower on Euro USD, right? So that is essentially how I win in Forex. I just focus on the Forex sentiment. Of course, this is an additional tool. Uh, after I've done my technical analysis, after I've done my in-depth fundamental analysis or macroeconomic uh, analysis, and I understand what is happening from a bigger picture perspective when it comes to those to to a specific currency pair or specific economies, right? Then I use this whenever I am executing my trades, whenever I'm managing my trades, uh, because as long as I know that more 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 traders are buying the euro or are, are going long on euro USD, then I know that my position will continue to move in my favor, right? If I'm selling euro USD, so. Just based, based on the positions that I have running, we can see that I've been short EURUSD uh, since the since around the 4th of May. And as you can see, price has been, or majority of traders have been buying EURUSD. And then if we go on to EURAUD as well, of which I'm still short, or I'm still holding my short position on, if we go on to uh, Forex Sentiment as well, and we just, uh, let's just change here to euro AUD so euro AUD you can see as well long positions there's more long positions so in this case since it's almost 50 50 I'm not expecting my current or, or my my position to be moving in 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 a how can I put it I'm not expecting my position to be moving deeper into profits, right? Or for the market to be moving aggressively in my direction because the difference, it's almost 50-50, right? Uh, and then let's go into another, into another currency pair of which I'm also short on, Euro NZD. And then if we go into Euro NZD, so I use this for, 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 for all currency pairs uh, that I'm, that I'm, looking to take positions on or that i even have open so euro nzd we can see 71 79 percent uh long short is 21 percent so majority is buying and it's a lot of a, a bigger number or a bigger percentage of traders are buying so i would expect an aggressive move in my direction right so an aggressive sell-off or aggressive candles to the downside as long as we maintain that forex sentiment or that uh, that imbalance they, when it comes to net traders which are long and net traders which are short and if we come to eurocad uh let us now do eurocad finally so now looking at eurocad you can see that there is an aggressive uh positioning of law or aggressive long positions right so 81 percent are buying eurocad uh, only 19% are selling Eurocad. And as you can see, uh, if we look at the chart here, uh, let me go into the daily. If we look at the chart here, when actually uh, net uh, long position started uh, taking over, it was around May 5th. As you can see, this green line at the, this, bottom, this bottom chart here, the red is when the net 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 positions are short, and if once once more the net positions are, are long, then the green line is above, or the yeah the green graph is 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 higher than the what than the the red graph. So as you can see here, around the fifth, around the fifth, let's say fifth, yeah, around, just after the fifth of May, that is when we saw net long positions on Eurocad, and that is when we also had what that is when we also had a sell-off in Eurocad, as you can see. And even today, we can see very aggressive positioning, 81% long. And of course, we also have some fundamental catalyst adding to that, uh, which of which specifically with uh, OPEC output or oil cuts, 
uh, or cut in oil production or oil output uh, and Russia also uh, joining the party to 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 actually say that they'll be cutting oil output and then also data showing that there is a slow or a slow down in the outputs right so the, what does that mean that means it will what it will support oil or it will increase not necessarily increase but it will keep the demand for oil for oil higher because the supply is being reduced and that will support oil prices and of course canadian dollar will also benefit from that so that is why we're seeing this aggressive move today and also partially yesterday uh from from the canadian dollar right and like i said i use this when i'm looking to enter my position it's an additional tool it's not the only tool that i use but it's just an additional tool to know that I'm on the right side because statistics keep on telling us time and time again, majority of traders lose money. So if you want to win, try and position yourself against the majority. Try not to do what the majority is doing and you most likely be in the winning side, right? So that is how I use this to always win in Forex, uh, not necessarily always win, but to win majority of the time. Uh, so just focus on the net positions. If you're looking to buy, check if majority is selling. If majority is selling and you're looking to buy based on what your fundamentals are telling you, based on what your technical is telling you, then that's a good opportunity to, to pounce on, right? And then vice versa if you're looking to sell. And also if you're managing your trade, how, how do you maintain patience? If you see that the if you see that there is a 50-50 chance, like we show we, we saw with Euro AUD, it's almost a 50-50 chance or, or, in, or percentage in terms of buyers and sellers. So in that case, I'll be very patient with Euro AUD if Euro AUD is not dropping or moving in my direction because I understand what is happening. So that also puts me or places me in a position of being patient as a trader because I understand what is happening from a forex sentiment uh, standpoint. But now once I once I see an aggressive positioning like EuroCAD uh, where 81% are, are buying, then now in that case I can expect or anticipate that the market will start giving me more profits, right? So it helps me be patient and it also helps me to manage my trade and also when it comes to executing my trade. So I hope that helps. But I just wanted to share this tool with you guys, something that you can also incorporate into your own analysis whenever you have positions running. If you're not sure whether you should now take profit or you should exit your position, especially if you're trading the medium to the longer term trend, then you can also use the Forex uh, sentiment so that you can understand even when the market is pulling back, you can understand that, okay, this is just a pullback because my, there is a shift in the positioning at the, at the in the time being, right? But like I said, it's a tool that is used in addition with other tools like fundamentals as well as um, your technicals. So hope you learned something from this and uh, just let me know in the comments below if, they, if you learned anything or if you have any questions. See you in the next video.